Can we just end this interview while I kick his ass, please? <laughs> My name is Maxi. And I'm Joshua, and you are watching Girl Style Singapore. Don't need 15 seconds because it's very definitive. Let's review the answer together. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> it's obvious that this guy does not know me at all. Yes, hey, this is like... I'm a degree holder for goodness sake. And hey, you're still a fool. No, That's no, why. no, no. Hey, he how... is foolish because he doesn't appreciate intelligence. Come on, you study in Melbourne, you got your degree and you're still a fool. Can we just end this interview while I kick his ass, please? <laughs> my bro is sick because... Sick in a good way, not sick in the head. Uh, he's both. sick in the head because uh, all my friends, all the boys, right, actually don't know what he's doing with his life. And I think he doesn't know what he's doing. But <laughs> so you are so wrong, eh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will reveal to the audience, but I won't show. Okay, I like, just do it. Do, do you know what you eat or not? I'll tell you what you eat. Mm. You eat balls, bro. <laughs> I don't eat balls let's, when I'm drunk. So we were in Taiwan for promo for ABTM mm. and then we just had a night out. It was really fun. But the fun didn't last because he actually proceeded to submerge his entire face into the, the bowl of meatballs. Every one of us were happily eating our meatballs, right? But he was submerging his face into the soup. That's why I gotta say that Maxi likes to eat balls. Okay. You remember last time you like to express your love when you're drunk? Your love to like everyone and your love to me. Okay. Yeah, One well. hand is like me. The other hand is like some random chick. It's not random chick. She was a lovely acquaintance. And he was like, he turned around, Maxi, wow, you're my best brother. Wow, Maxi, I really, really love you. I told you don't want to buy me, man. How about we both review at the same time? Okay, one, two, three. What? <laughs> 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 this is crazy! <laughs> I don't like to talk about myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes to impress people. Hey, you know, uh, people call me the king of short film. Okay, you have your Rolex, right? I'm not right? wearing it right now! But this guy is very shameless. He bought like this, what, $60,000 Rolex. <laughs> Nobody buys Rolex, what, nowadays. Tosh, William? They're uncles. <laughs> <laughs> Falling down for an entire week in the forest. <laughs> so Josh is a, he's really a professional actor la, So he's willing to gain weight and lose weight yeah. for roles yeah. So for our boys to man for, he actually gained how much? How much? 20, 20 kg So he yeah. became like this big sloppy fat balloon thing. You remember we were shooting like for a week in the forest yeah, And yeah, it was yeah. so slippery because yeah. it just rained constantly yeah. This guy was just falling down <laughs> everywhere yeah, man, right. you know, It's actually, really embarrassing eh. You look so helpless, you look so cute, so annoying And, and you so, had like, your helpless. fat days too <sighs> What? Actually, we don't need the whiteboard for this. Eh? Maxi, right, has a special plan for the ladies. He wants to go down under and show you the wonderful um, sights and sounds of uh, Cairns and Queensland. Go Coast. Go, go Coast. Mm. My name is Joshua Tan. I'm going to where? Sydney. I'm going to uh, Sydney uh, to see the kangaroos. Travel Cuddle with a koala bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the hot air balloon yeah. up and maybe don't return anymore. <laughs> so this is my plan for 2019. The, the phrase has grown on me and uh, it is Eat bro. It has its magic. Like. Now he sold out his merchandise. Well done, well done. You successfully brainwashed the what, whole of Singapore. Why don't they tell the audience what does Eat Bro stands for? No, this no, matter, man. no matter what you're going through, even if your tongue is very tired, you just keep going and you keep eating at whatever obstacle is standing in your way. Like money, be it fame, uh, muscle cram, whatever. Just eat, bro. I think it's a subconscious thing that you always say. Hey, this is, this, this, this is a joke. <laughs> why don't you explain to them? Why do you like to say this? People like him keep making fun of me say that, oh, I have no talent, I have no brains. Or yeah, foolish but rich. So I just gave up one day and said, you know what? Whatever makes you happy, what's the most Let's why? not mock each other anymore. Hey. For a change, let's go to Chen Jinghua. Yeah, yeah, um, hard to hard. Maxi is someone who I always turn to when I, I have like Your issues. Shit hits the fan. Yeah, my the shit hits the fan, right? He's the first one I will turn to because I'm full of shit. That's why yes, you go to the. He really is um, the most steady friend I know lah. And and recently we had our <laughs> Muay, uh, Muay Thai fight, mm. so that was my first ever fight. So he was my corner man, my one and only corner man. He gave me a lot of tips, how to prepare, and uh, he was there for me like, throughout. He walked me through everything. Brave guy, you know. You step in the ring, you you did well against a very fearsome opponent, and yeah. that's your first fight. And it's not easy because you're fighting somebody who's more experienced, and you you're brave man, and you took him out. Like in whatever you do, I can always see the bravery. Yes, yes. All right, ladies, we are done with our game. Segment and we are on to Pillow Talk. <laughs>